Moshi Moshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Genshi Impact. The summer breeze carries stories and the fairies of grass. Amidst your journey, you and Pomo stumble upon a strangely bound book. One inside this most mysterious tone, only one way to find out. Today, we are going to the summer map. Guys, look at this. They gave us 1600 people gems and not focusing on uh, the Nadlin skin problem <laughs> because of Nadlin. And I mean, Nuvlet. No That's kind of funny. Ooh, let me sit down and read this book. Ooh, okay. Guess we're getting started already. Hey, wake up! Hey! All I see is Paimon. Uh, you're finally awake. Paimon was worried sick. Well, the fuck are we? Head is all dizzy. Well, what's this? Oh, is that different? I never, I never seen this before actually. And I can take the eyeball. Ooh. The scenery here looks different too. Ooh, what should we do, traveler? Please don't doubt Paimon. Someone abducted us and brought us to some strange place that we can never leave. Calm the fuck down, Paimon. <sighs> You're right. Better to think of this as the beginning of a new adventure. <sighs> Thank goodness you're still here. If Paimon woke up alone, she probably would be trembling in a tree hollow. Okay. The story begins in the forest without wing. Okay. Now oh, we so get started. For now. We might be able to meet someone and figure out what this place is all about. Hmm. Yeah, okay, hold on. Let me check real quick. <gasps> Ooh, look at this. Four is a blessing. Hey, it's just a glass event with summer map. Like those two, three, four, five of this. How big is this really? Oh, like a big circle, like a book storyline. Okay, I see it. Ooh, this would be fun. Now, let's go forward and look around. The music here seems interesting. Hey, where are we? Can I grab this? Let me grab. Huh. What could that be, anyways? Out of curiosity. <laughs> I'm gonna do. Oh, by the shade of a lotus leaf stream, don't tell me you forgot how to jump. I, I didn't forget, Firecracker. I'm just not sure if what I remember is correct. <laughs> Next thing you know, you'll have forgotten how to sing, much less notate a score. You still remember why we call you Stream, don't you? Yeah, because I've got a great singing voice. Although these days. The name seems more ironic than anything. Not just a great voice, one that evokes the gentleness of early morning dewdrops flowing into a spring. So cheer up and make the jump over. If you're still unsure, just use that roll of magic thread. I won't laugh, I promise. Now don't tell me you've forgotten how to use that as well. I haven't forgotten everything, Firecracker. Your name, for instance. It's kind of hard to forget that you're named after your fiery temper. Now do me a favor and pipe down for a second. I'll be right over. Go on. <laughs> you saw that too, right? Paimon's not seeing things, is she? I saw some talking paper frogs. This place is getting more confusing by the second. Anyway, uh, why don't we go after those two frogs? They didn't look evil or anything. Plus, they might be able to help us out. Um... Hmm, I mean, you know, one Paimon, but let's give it a go. Are those chests- oh, there is. Ooh, I'll just put- Hey! Wait! 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 Ooh, chest. Ooh. Some chests- okay, sure, why not? If I followed you here- Hold on. Okay, they're instructable, you can burn them. Or oh, cook them. Excuse me, um, frogs. The fuck are going? I don't know where they're going. Guess we're not catching up to those frogs. They were so fast. Paimon couldn't even tell where they hopped off to in the end. Uh, excuse me, honored travelers. Did you come from the Cliff of Prophecy, perchance? <laughs> the job 
Chubby Paper Hamster just talked? Chubby? Who are you calling Chubby? Looks got a slightly thicker layer of paper on me, that's all. <clears throat> uh, allow me to uh, introduce myself. Uh, my name is Arnold, and I'm an elder of the Forest of Blessings. Uh, I've been waiting here for the Hero of Prophecy to arrive. <laughs> Traveler, could you pinch Paimon just to make sure she's not still dreaming? I think I need pinching as well. Oh, pinching, you say? Well, I can help with that. Although you'll have to get a little closer. My arms are rather short. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I just need a minute to collect ourselves. Okay. Let's think things through. We know for sure this isn't the world we're familiar with. The talking paper animals and all the paper trees and plants make that pretty clear. The hero from another world, supported by their companions, shall restore peace to the world. That is what the prophecy says. The prophecy? <laughs> Deary me, I completely forgot to introduce you to this world, didn't I? <sighs> and here I am getting all excited by the arrival of the hero. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. This old brain isn't what it once was. All shell and no nut. <sighs> oh, well, perhaps my once glossy paper has faded past the point of no return. It's okay, really. You can just tell us all about this world now. Oh, let me think. Hmm. Where, where should I even begin? <sighs> Pretty much forgotten everything that happened in the past. Uh, right. Uh, I, I believe the story circulating along the pulp of this forest goes as follows. Uh, a long, long time ago, three goddesses created this world and named it Simulanka. The goddess of creation, who presides over matter and magic, created the mountains and rivers and gave us life. Her powers also paved the way for Simulanka to exist in numerous worlds. After the goddess of creation came the goddess of prophecy, with dominion over the stars and the course of fate itself. She induced the sky to spin and the earth to move. Even to this day, her, her statue still stands tall at the highest point of constellation Metropole. The final goddess was the goddess of fate. She who reigns over all treasured tales and dearest wishes. She bestowed upon us the fierce and everlasting feelings of love and hate, and showed us the meaning of death and hope. Whoa, they all seem super impressive. Sounds like they really did a lot. Uh, of course. The all new residents of Simulanka come to the forest to thank the goddess of creation for founding this world and travel to Constellation Metropole to witness the divinations of the goddess of prophecy's numerous oracles. After that, they make their way to the end of the world and tell the goddess of fate about their most cherished dreams. Well, at least that's how it used to be. Uh, how it used to be? Did something bad happen? You mentioned something about restoring peace to this world. Oh, yeah. That has to do with the hero you're waiting for, right? Yes, yes this old, old brain of mine may have forgotten many things, but I will never forget the day the evil dragon descended upon our forest. It came down from the skies in an ominous black mist and ravaged our homeland. Its gigantic footprints can still be seen in the kingdom of breezes and bells. We're incredibly fortunate that no one was hurt. Sounds terrifying! The terror doesn't stop there, I'm afraid. Ever since the attack, the calligraphy tavern in the forest has been closed. No one knows why, but it's a catastrophe of the highest order for us, forest dwellers. Uh, a catastrophe of the highest order? All because a tavern closed? If we were talking about Mondstadt here, Paimon might understand, but is it really all that serious? Good. Goddess of creation above. We'd take even the greatest flood over the closure of the tavern. Wet paper will dry out with time. Fallen trees can be restored. But the calligraphy tavern is the only source of the magic tonic that sustains all creatures in the forest. Magic what? Magic tonic. It was gifted to the forest by the goddess of creation herself. 
a, a special potion that helps us maintain our vitality. What happens if you stop drinking it? Well, our bodies <coughs> will gradually crumple and become brittle until they eventually disintegrate entirely. Our colors will fade and we'll start to lose our memory until we can't even remember our own names. Uh, but wait, Grandpa Almond, does that mean you've already... Oh, I'm afraid so. The color has all but completely faded from my paper. To be honest, all I really remember is that I'm supposed to wait here for the hero of prophecy. But I've already forgotten who gave me that order to begin with. Then we've got to act fast! How can we help? Oh, brave Pixie. May the goddess of fate reward you and your friend for your kindness. Could it be you're the heroes I've been waiting for all along? On the main character, so yeah. Not sure how we know that. Plus, we can't even remember how we got here, so it's not looking too promising. Hmm. We were just following the world and then ended up here. Well. Uh, this is turning out to be quite the conundrum for old Armand Brain here. <laughs> uh, the prophecy never mentioned anything like that. Uh, for now, why don't you come with me to the Hut of Blessings? The Our Forest Fairy lives there. Maybe she'll know what to do. Whoa, a forest fairy? Like one that knows magic? Oh, you betcha. <laughs> She's prophesized to join the hero on their journey. Well, then she sounds like exactly the kind of person we need. Please lead the way, Grandpa Almond. Uh, let's go. Uh, that metal over there looks pretty strange. Oh. Uh, that's what the calligraphy tavern looks like. Now it's lost all of its color. What the hell are they talking? What do you mean? How about I burn you alive in your misery? If I'm you live. Um, okay. We don't. It's just like, um, doing it with no color. That's what it feels like right now. Well, he's missing some grind, by the way. Might be useful. Or oh, probably not, who knows. Anyways, we are going up here. Are we alone here at this point until we see someone we can recognize? Okay, who lives here? Hello! Who lives here? Uh, this is the place. If you could just wait a moment, the fairy should be. Traveler! Paimon! Who's speaking? Paimon knows that voice! Navia! I mean, one person. It's really you. I'm so happy to see you. I oh, I say Navi. I meant to say Nilu. That's the wrong name. <laughs> oh gosh, she gave us a hug. Yep, same heel. Uh, uh, sorry, <sighs> sorry. The hug is wholesome. So Aww. The forest fairy? Well, you certainly look the part. Your outfit is lovely. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, to be honest, I'm still getting used to it. It's the weirdest thing. I remember I was reading a book at the Grand Bazaar, and then I guess I must have fallen asleep at some point because, well, then I woke up just like this. And in my dream, someone spoke to me. They said, you are the fairy of the Forest of Blessings. Now go, save the forest with your magic. At first, I thought this whole world was just part of the dream. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't seem to wake up. I couldn't find anyone I knew from the real world either. Sounds similar to what happened with us. We also have no idea how we got here. Anyway, sorry for my reaction back there. I got a bit too excited when I saw you two. It's okay, we totally understand. We were looking for a way out too. At least we know we're not alone. Oh, blessed be the goddess of fate above. You're already friends with the fairy of the forest. Grandpa Almond, thank you so much for bringing my friends here. Could you let the others know I'm coming? I'll head over right away. Uh, of course, leave it to me. Hey ho, pistachio. <laughs> Today truly is a blessed day. Wow, Nilu. Looks like you made short work of getting to know the locals. Well, when I arrived here yesterday, Grandpa Omen told me all about the state of this world. Since they think of me as their forest fairy, I just felt like I had to try to help them. Oh, so you mean like using some kind of forest magic to repair the tavern? Unfortunately, I don't know how to use the magic of this world. I've tried using my vision, but it doesn't seem to work here. If the books stored in this hut are anything to go by, this seems to be the place where the goddess of creation first made the townspeople of this forest. She folded the pages of books into small origami animals, gave them life with her magic, 
And with time, that's how the Forest of Blessings took shape. Hmm. Maybe one of the books here could teach us how to use magic. I read them all, but only found one reference to magic. The incantation, Abracadabra, means to create what I say. This is a world made up of words, where fantastical powers can be wielded by all. Okay, so basically everyone in this world can use magic? That's nice, but still kind of vague. Yeah, from the other books I read, it seems like this goddess really likes to play fast and loose with the details. So, what should we do now? Um, didn't you say you were going somewhere, Nilu? Oh, yes. I was going to help some of the other residents of the forest. They've been busy making preparations to reopen the tavern, so I thought I could help out. Got it! Guess we should just focus on what we can do for now. This whole thing is making me pretty nervous, actually. It's like I've been pushed on stage without being taught the choreography. Since I'm already wearing the costume, though, I might as well try to play the part. It's what a professional dancer would do. And who knows? Maybe I'll find my own magic along the way. All I can do is try, right? At least yeah. you're optimistic. We'll be there to cheer you all too. Thank you. Then let's go. Oh, I was expecting that she would be one. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, this happens anyways. So this chapter 2 and that's chapter 3. Hmm, okay. For his Blair in the forest, busy in the party of Persian flying squirrel. Okay, you gotta do these. Okay, why not? No, actually, there's a side, there's a side quest. So let's just start with um these golden stuff first. Um, but the first one. Look, the forest fairy is here, and she brought her companions. Grandpa Almond was right; they do look promising. Hello there, everyone. I heard you were working on the piping for the calligraphy tavern. Is there anything we can do to help? Oh, we wouldn't dream of troubling you with our petty problems, my lady. Oh, maybe Don't you I, worry, yeah, we have it all under control. Ah, uh, you sure about that? Because from where Paimon's floating, the piping is looking pretty chaotic. Ah, uh, yes. We have my careless friend to thank for that. He promised we could leave the pipe connecting to him and... Well, the results speak for themselves. Uh, hey, I just wanted to inspect each pipe. This is the network the magic tonic has to flow through. I was just trying to be Hold on a sec. So I, uh, I disassembled the whole thing. Why do they sound like kind of like Golu? Yeah, and now you've forgotten how to put the thing back together. <sighs> Have you been eating too many nuts again? Because you are what you eat. Please don't fight. I know everyone wants the tavern to reopen as soon as possible so that the forest can return to normal. So, why don't you let us help out? Yeah, we're here anyway, so we might as well be helpful. We just need to reassemble these pipes, right? Oh, well, if you're offering... Basically, the pipes need to be connected properly to allow the magic yeah, tonic to flow through. If you put the wrong pipe in the wrong place, the tonic will get stuck halfway. Attention to detail is key. Says the guy who messed up the whole thing in the first place. Hmm. Okay, this seems pretty easy if I want to try it out. Do you follow me? Oh, I thought you do. So, this looks pretty easy. Um. Damn. Voltate? Hold up! That doesn't look right, though. Um, uh, okay. Let's just turn this around. There you go. And this around. That seems pretty right. Now, why does this pipe looks the way it does? What? It doesn't seem right. Um, hold up, hold up. Let's look around here for a second. Okay. Uh. Okay. So this goes that way. That goes that way. Okay. You know what? Let's we'll take this pipe, and then hey, hey, <laughs> little squirrel shit, flow. Go ahead. Push that way. Okay. The great magician got this. Yeah. Why are you crying? Something doesn't seem quite right. The tonic is stuck. Okay. I see it. You sound like AI voice, actually. I take it back. You sound like an AI voice when you speak. Okay. Well, let's get still around here this way. I'm waiting. Waiting. Turn. Voltate! There you go. That's a good idea. It's my move, yeah? 
Now we got it! Hey, it's done. We got chest done. Oh, amazing! You did it! Now the tonic will flow into everyone's cups without getting stuck, right? Oh, gotta say though, Paimon is starting to get pretty curious about this magic tonic. Um, could she have a teeny tiny sip? Just a little taste, please! Paimon! <laughs> If it's really just one sip, I guess that would be fine. Just be careful. This is one of the last cups left in the entire forest. We're supposed to save it for our research. Just a sip. Promise. Okay, here it goes. Oh my god, Paimon's drinking it. What was that? Oh, it's still kicking the Paimon's tongue. Uh, wait, is this just regular ink? Paimon. <laughs> oh my god. Ink and paper, huh? Wait, does that mean what the legend says is true? The goddess of fate used ink to compose her stories on paper, and the goddess of creation used her power to bring those tales to life. No wonder the tavern is so important to the forest. Maybe the fading disorder occurs when the ink within the body dries up. That would explain why the beings here are forgetting their own stories. I'm not really sure I can really wrap my head around this conversation, but there's no need to get all worked up on our behalf, my lady. With the pipe installed, I'm sure the tavern will be up and running in no time. Oh, what do you mean, can't wrap your head around it? The fairy is recounting the story of how the goddesses gave us life. In fact, I've seen the goddess of creation with my own eyes. Really? Don't be ridiculous. There's no way you're old enough to have met her. We're the same age, and I think I would know considering we went to tell our wishes to the goddess of fate together. Oh my God. So stop oh. talking a load of paper mache. Oh, fine. It was my grandfather, all right? He was the one that saw her. He said that one day after he finished work, he saw the goddess of creation grant us life with his own eyes. In her hands, she held the very paper used to form our bodies. She whispered something into the pages, and then, suddenly, a paper frog was born, ready to leap into the world. Oh, it was spectacular. Ugh, cut the theatrics, will you? You weren't even there. Wait, so that's it? Paimon thought creation magic would have a little bit more pizzazz. <laughs> oh, so in your world, the creation of life is a much showier affair? Huh. I'm learning something new every day. That uh, well, oh, that's not exactly what Paimon was trying to say. Magic doesn't have to be spectacular. That's enough out of you. All your boasting is confusing our kind fairy. Oh, no, it's all right. I actually think I understand the magic of this world a bit better now. Thank you. The honor was all I ours, my lady. Hmm. Traveler, Paimon. We should make our way to the next location. Yes, yes. Especially with this chest. We're going up here. Um, what is this I'm standing on? Oh! <laughs> oh, it's a fog. Hey, oh, a chest. Hey, thank you. Extra people just why not? Okay, what's this? No color. You see that? At this rate, it doesn't even matter if the tavern reopens. <laughs> the band's not even going to get any gigs. <sighs> I'm sorry. Uh, hello there. I hope you're interrupting your rehearsal. Hey, these are the two frogs we saw on the road a little while ago. Oh, the forest fairy is here. For the love of lotus leaves and dewdrop stream, you've really got to put in some effort now. Oh, but I... Oh, don't pressure yourselves on my account. Are you rehearsing for a show? Sure are. <laughs> you see, our group regularly performs for guests at the tavern. We've been out of work for quite some time, with the closure and all. But after hearing of the fairy's arrival yesterday, we figured we needed to get in performance shape right away. <laughs> I understand how you feel. Back at the Grand Bazaar, Zubair Theater's always busy with rehearsals, too. The Grand Bazaar? Do people oh there sing God. on lotus leaves as well? Yeah, they do. And it's a really big one. 
You're the conductor of your group, aren't you? You remind me of Mr. Zubair. Ah, then he must be an ambitious director. One who would do anything to avoid disappointing a single member of the audience. It's just... Is there anything we can do to help you, Mr. Stream? Oh, no, no. My problems are mine and mine alone. It's just... After the tavern closed, I somehow forgot how to sing. I'm always a few beats behind everyone else, and I keep singing out of key. You were our trump card, our best singer by a mile. I know, I know, but... <sighs> so he is a victim of the fading disorder, too? Don't be sad, Mr. Stream. Whenever I've forgotten important dance steps in the past, my friends at the Grand Bazaar always stick by my side to encourage me. They smile and patiently tell me everything's going to be okay. Then, they play the melody for me over and over, until the steps finally come back to me. Now, it's our turn to help you. We just need to help you remember how to sing, right? The Traveler's got a great sense of rhythm. We can help keep you in kind. Well, what do you say, Stream? I think it's a great idea. Just focus on the lyrics, and the fairy's friends will help you stay on beat. Are, oh, I did are you sure? Oh, my God. This is really asking a lot. Don't worry about it, Mr. Stream. It'll all be worth it when the tavern reopens and we finally have the chance to hear your marvelous singing voice. All right, then. Thank you so much, everyone. I I'll give it my best shot. All right. So how are we doing this, actually? Um... Oh, we go. The pair of our chores will fall asleep according to the rhythm. There is the right most foggy to jump at the right moment. When it's where there may be saws and dance components of performance, we want to follow the couplet with them too. Okay. Hold on, so let me get the server spot ready. And then after this. Okay, good. We got that. Extra people gems are good for us. Alright. Now let's get started with the rhythm. Begin performance. With Letty! Hilarious. Um. Okay. Go! Yeah, Lenny's looking at the- Oh, why am I here? Bounce. Bounce again. Let's go. Slowly. Nice! Okay. Go ahead. Time to dance. Okay. Wait, do I pass now? Oh! Never mind. A little late, that's okay. Okay, watch, watch. Turn around, nice. Um, we're good? Happy Fog! Yay! <laughs> I wanna grab it, but okay. I feel like I'm getting the hang of it again. Goddess is above. This better stick when it comes to the performance. Uh, just do it exactly like how we rehearsed. Thank you, everyone. Thanks to you, my voice is once again as clear as a flowing stream. Glad to hear that you're feeling Fuck. better, Mr. Stream. <laughs> That's not it's that also so about funny. time for us to go to our next destination. Uh -huh. We'll be looking forward to your performance at the cavern. Okay. We've got one final stop. Let's go. And it's far away. It's not that far away. Just gotta bounce and fly. We and then bounce again. And then fly. Okay, what is this we're doing with now? And then bounce forward. You didn't bounce forward, Lenny. I'm saying, oh man, I'm so sorry about that. That's okay. Now what's this we're dealing with? Oh my dear Citrus, please tell me you're joking. We can't have you out of commission with the tavern about to reopen. I'm sorry, Grandpa Almond. It's the truth. I was just too excited for the reopening and must have fallen asleep in an awkward position. Grandpa Almond, we're here to help! Oh, hazelnuts on high. You could not have come at a better time. Uh, please allow me to introduce you. Uh, this is the bartender of the Calligraphy Tavern, Miss Citrus. She's so tall. Uh, Miss Citrus is supposed to add all kinds of delicious fruits to the magic tonic. Her additions are what turn it into the finest brew in the land. She's Indispensable oh, to the operation of the tavern. I appreciate the kind oh words, Grandpa Almond, but uh, 
My neck. Yeah, my Are you all right? Ah, yeah, uh, terrible off. timing. Yeah. Getting a kink in my neck at a time like this? Could you give my tail a little twist? That should help free up the movement in my neck. I would do it myself, but I can't reach my own, and Grandpa Almond is too old and as light as a feather. The neck and tail are connected? Of course they're connected. <laughs> just like how you can't have a rainbow without rain. <clears throat> anyway, you just need to position me at the right like height to pick the fruits, deal. and then put them in the barrel over there. All right. So... Do I get explanation? Okay, thanks. Press the injured button to pull a magic on the paper bud back and help her. While connected, you can move and adjust the neck height of the paper outlet in the direction that she's facing. While connected, press the attack button at the correct position so the paper outlet may obtain any magic material. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I press T. Um. Okay. Go. Over here. Okay, that's too tall. Too tall. Eh. Uh, lower. Hey! Come on! Oh, like that. Mm, this doesn't seem quite right. Oh, like that. Okay, I get it. Grab. And then. Down. Lenny's like, why am I doing this? What about my sisters? No, Lenny. Let me just. No, you got this. Okay. And then we're gonna. Grab this. Lower down. Grab. Oh god. Grab this one. <laughs> Please. Nice. Oh man, that was late. Perfect. <sighs> My neck feels much better. So there really is some kind of connection between your neck and tail. Thank you so much. Everyone. Oh my god, the mono background. I can rest easy now, knowing the drinks at the tavern will be just as wonderful as before. That's another problem solved. I guess it's side dash. Okay. No, let me go grab my stuff. <laughs> and then now let's head back. Okay, is this like a house, Nilu? In the meantime. Well, since we've taken care of most of the tasks, all we need to do now is reopen the tavern. But we still don't know how to use the magic of this world. We don't even know why the tavern closed in the first place. <sighs> oh, what about the method that one hamster mentioned? You should try it, Nilu. You mean the creation magic his grandfather saw outside the hut of blessings? Hmm, well, I wonder. Like well, but as How exactly did the goddess of creation give them life? Maybe you don't the dummy need to understand him. it. <laughs> Just give it a try. Everyone here calls you the forest fairy. Maybe you have the magic powers already and you just don't know it. In other Man, words, <laughs> this forest is a stage. And all I need to do is... Step out into the spotlight? <laughs> Sounds just like a fairy tale. Well, we are surrounded by talking origami animals and magic potions after all. Almost seems like anything's possible in this place. You're right, Paimon. We won't know anything unless we try. In that case, let's see. Go ahead. Neil takes the paper from the book and falls into the shape of a hamster. And this yet? is how you do it, right? I think I got the folds right. Oh, oh your origami skills are great! I once saw one of our prop people making something similar. It looks really cool. So I took some time during my break to learn the basics. It's not a bad way to stave off sleepiness either. Well, how do you feel? Please! Oh, Sense any, uh, magical powers flowing through you? Mm, no. No? That was good. Mm. What are we missing? Aren't you supposed to say something magic words? The magic words? But how am I supposed to know what the goddess said to bring them to life? Hmm, focus on what you want to say. Oh, good point! You're the forest fairy, Nilu! What do you want to say to the new resident of your domain? Mm -hmm. Nipples of the hamster and kisses gently on the foot. What? Did that work? I bestow upon you the blessings of the forest and offer you a home in this land. Your name shall be Harisara. May you bloom in this fun, world bad, as beautifully as the flower I love. I wish I was a hamster now. <sighs> and... Are they moving? What the? They did. My name is Harisara. Okay, they moved. It worked. It actually worked. Well, peel my 
my shell and call me a nut. <laughs> I never imagined I'd witness such a miracle at my age. <laughs> it's just like what the story said about the goddess of creation. Shell? Miracle? Nice to meet you, Padisara. I'm Neelu, the fairy of this forest. From this day forward, this place is now your home. Hello, fairy Neelu. I hope you'll grow up happily in this forest. Grow up. <laughs> oh, you can leave the little one with old Armand for now. Oh, uh, this sure brings back memories. <laughs> it's been such a long time since we last held a welcome ceremony. Here, Padizara. Hmm. Oh, Come to Grandpa Armand. Well, now that Nilo has mastered the goddess's magic, we should be able to reopen the tavern, right? Mm hmm. Grandpa Almond, could you send a few people to check the underground space beneath the tavern? Oh, of course. Uh, may I ask why? The moment I used magic, I sensed something strange down there. I have a feeling it's connected to why the tavern had to close down. Uh, of course. Well, look into it right away. Make sure you listen to Grandpa Almond, Potty Sara. Don't go running off on your own. Potty Sara. Listen. Running! Uh-oh. Um... Hey, come back here, you! Wait! Yep, that's Nilo's creation, all right! She's got so much energy. Anyway, how did you manage it, Nilo? Well, all I did was say my wishes oh, no. for her out loud. <laughs> we hit the fucking dummy. Maybe the magic is in the <laughs> words themselves, just like the book said. This place is seeming more like a fairy tale by the second. I mean... Or some are called the Forest of Blessings, so it kind of makes sense. Well, anyway, Paimon thinks this oh, magic shit. suits you perfectly, Nilu. Hmm, what about the space under the tavern? When I brought Padisara to life just now, I was able to sense the magic flowing through the forest, and the flowers and trees, and inside the creatures that live here. Like but for some reason, there's a hollowed out space beneath the tavern where I couldn't sense anything at all. We're back, my lady. That was fast. You were right. There was something under the tavern that I've never seen before. It looked transparent oh, and gave so off bad. a clinking sound when I knocked on it. Oh, what the transparent fuck? and <laughs> clinking. I'm oh, so bad. I got it. Uh, already? Oh shit! I'm doing my old ass combo. You've got to use fairy tale logic, Paimon. I come here, one. Are the lips on the same dialogue now, or? They update that, I don't know. Is it an ink oh, box shit. bottle? Right. An empty ink bottle to be exact. Up there, boy. Up there. Still you remember the taste fight? of the fight? magic fight? tonic fight? you took a sip of, Paimon? I think the eye. Oh my god. They don't look so that delay anymore. Yeah, it was oh, I could be one. Ink. Oh shit, we're back oh, up. Paimon gets it now. Life, so Never mind, I thought it was. Traveler, Paimon, will you come gather some ingredients with me? I learned what we need to make the magic tonic back in the hut of blessings. Sure thing! What do we need to get? A setting sun that never sets, a dragon that cannot fly, and a moon that only shines at night. The little delay. I guess that's fine. She means Soto Sia Sea Dragons and Nilo Pola. How do you say those words? Fairy tale logic, Paimon. Logic, huh? <laughs> Lucky guess, more like. Oh my god. You wanna smack your ass to Paimon? Oh! oh my god, the dress just like her? And she got grippers out, girl? Where's your shoes? I mean, you're a goddess, so I guess, I guess that's fine. Alright. Um, are they below or above? You still could fight, you know. Hmm. Collect the. Oh. Hold up. So that's that's one. Is that two? Okay, and that's three. Wait, no, it's those things. We gotta find them off. I can still feel my vision on this. Yeah, let's go. Eh. Okay. Okay, your water. I'll swing away from you. Keep swinging. Keep swinging. There we go. You two, get wet. Like your bleach. Okay, well, how does it hurt you apparently? That's kind of funny. Okay, you're dead. 
Now I can grab these next. Yeah, let's go. Damn, look at that Giada fathers. Give me just a second. I'm gonna go fetch an ink bottle from the other room. Yeah. Can we go inside too? Paimon doesn't get it. Oh, All shit, the ingredients baby, are super asked. tasty, but somehow the final product turns into ink. Well, anyway, Paimon's not going anywhere near this stuff this time. Not even if you oh, bribed her. Right. Sorry to keep you waiting. I took a second. Let's see. You miss me, Buck. According to the book, <laughs> first you do this, mm -hmm. then this, and then. Go on. It's done. Hey, nice. Wow, magic sure makes everything super convenient. What's next? I'm going to that spot. I'm guessing. Go to the. <laughs> oh, here you go. So, oh, who is young lady? I'm a father. Who is a lady? Hey, look at that. Back to normal. Yes, this is it. This is exactly the magic tonic we need. Grandpa Almond, Lowy could you take the concoction to the room underneath the tavern and place it next to the transparent bottle you found? I'll handle the rest. Of course. As you command, so it shall be done. <sighs> I still get nervous at times like this. It's just like when you step on stage and you can tell that every single person's gaze is fixed right on you. Well, right here with you. <laughs> Thanks, you two. I can't tell you how great it is to have you by my side. Almost makes me feel like I've been blessed by the goddess of fate, too. Let's go. We shouldn't keep everyone waiting. Yeah. Um, is that spot I think it is? That's so gray. Yes, that's what I thought. It's so white. My goodness. Look at this. Forest. Please heed my words and accept my blessings. May your spring of wondrous magic never run dry. And may all who call you their home lead happy, fulfilling lives. Now, why is the colors? Hey, look at that. She's doing it. Oh my god. This is beautiful. With paper style? Okay. I'm feeling goosebumps already. All of my body. Hey, the tavern's back. Hey, can we go inside? Oh, just can't. Oh, I would love that. Oh, yes, I am. Wow. It's so pretty. What a beautiful tavern. It matches the scenery of the forest perfectly. I was so surprised when it suddenly opened up like that. Just like a pop up book. <laughs> I, I remember now. I remember everything. It was me. I was the one who went to the top of Constellation Metropole and witnessed the goddess's prophecy. The hero who shall save oh, this shit. world will descend upon the cliff of prophecy. The hero, supported by their companions, shall restore peace to this world. So the prophecy really did have all the answers? You just forgot the choice. <laughs> That's why I was waiting near the cliff of prophecy. <laughs> wonderful, Yo, simply shit, wonderful. Bro? There's still some hope there for old Armand after all. Is the Cliff of Prophecy that place with the huge oh, mural? Because that is where we woke up. But what we a one, man! You can't do this! Also, we didn't get a change of clothes like Milu. Are we definitely the heroes? If not okay, you, but... then who else? You well, you, you've shit. already helped the fairy revitalize our forest. Oh, Oh, to shit, us, oh, shit, oh, that shit, makes shit. you heroes. Oh, Prophesized shit. or not. Alright. By the way, we're going to keep one, adventuring even if in. it's just to figure out how we can get back to our world. We could also help solve okay. your dragon problem along the way. Yep, we've beaten up plenty of dragons already, so what's one more? 
As expected, the words of the goddess of prophecy always come true. I'll come with you. It can't hurt to have a magical fairy tag along, right? It will be an honor, my lady. Heroes and fairies, dragons and new adventures. <laughs> this is sounding more and more like a fairy tale by the second. Okay. Mm. I would say your next stop should be Constellation Metropole. It's Simi Lanka's most prosperous city, just across the sea. Once you've arrived at the Astral Garden at the highest point in the city, uh, maybe you can try seeking divine counsel from the Goddess of Prophecy herself. Are you leaving, Fairy Man? I'm afraid so. There are still other people who need my help. I won't go far, though, and I'll come back to visit the minute I have time to spare. So be a good girl, Potty Sara, and help out Grandpa Almond whenever you can, all right? Mm-hmm. Got it! Patty Sara will wait here for you. <laughs> oh, that's a good girl, Patty Sara. Ah, I almost forgot. If Constellation Metropole is where you're oh, heading, fuck. you'll need to take the Maritime the Express. I'll head to the station first thing tomorrow morning. Wake up that lazy station master for you. Uh, why don't you take a break for the rest of the day? You should savor the beautiful scenery of the forest before you go. Sounds great! Paimon definitely feels tired after being on the go for so long. There's a spot in the tavern with Paimon's name on it! Oh, no, it's not. Sounds like someone's ready to order. Oh, well, if you're offering. Paimon will take a glass of Buell fruit tonic. Um, but hold the tonic. <laughs> Can you even make that? Alright, oh, act one. Well, pipe one is done. Um, okay. I'm just curious, how many more parts is there if I do anything else? Um, is this some again? No, not this one. Um, what's the next part? Oh, that's part two. That's the second one. And the third one. Oh, wait, no. Part two, part three, part four. Hey! Oh, so I'm not done yet. Okay, so I guess I'll wait till tomorrow for the next one to come up. Oh, well, I'm gonna there. Like, subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.